Remote Access and Share While Lamu is running on your Windows computer, you can enable other devices to view the photos and videos. To enable Device Access Service, click Access and Share from the main menu. The main menu will display the list of shares. I will demonstrate how to create share lists later in this video. Elevated privilege is needed in order to allow other devices to connect to this computer. Windows will prompt you to give permission. Click Yes. Then, Lamu Access and Share Center windows will be displayed. Lamu will check to make sure the thumbnails needed for remote access are available. If this is the first time you open the Access and Share Center, Lamu will need to create thumbnails for all the photos in your library. You will not be able to see the photos remotely unless the thumbnails have been created. When you enable the Lamu Device Access Service, your Windows computer will temporarily serve as a web server to provide other devices with access to the photos and videos. The access is read-only and is only available while the device access window is running. Remote access stops when you close the window. I'm going to enable local access first. The local access URL and QR code is displayed. From within the same local network, you can use any of your devices that have a web browser to view the photos and videos in Lamu. This includes smartphones, tablets, Mac, other PCs and smart TVs. No passcode is needed for local network access. For devices with a camera, such as smartphones and tablets, you can use the camera to scan the QR code. You can then access the photos from a web browser on the device. From the device browser, you can view photos by timeline, events, special days, people, places, albums, tags, and favourites. You can download photos onto the device if you want. I'll use my iPhone to scan the QR code. My iPhone recognises it as a website QR code and asks me to open the URL in Safari. Tap the prompt will open the URL. The timeline for the current year is displayed. I can tap on a thumbnail in the timeline to view the photo. If I tap on the photo, iPhone will show options to share the photo, add to the Photos app, or copy the photo. I can share the photo using apps such as AirDrop, Messages, Mail, and Facebook. I can use the Hamburg menu at the top right corner to navigate to another year. I can view photos by events. If I open my Orlando vacation, I will see my photos for that event. I can see all the special days. When I open Easter, I see all my Easter photos over the years. I can open the people view and see photos by person. Here, I have all the photos of Mary.
I can go to any of the places in my photo library, like Coal Cliff in New South Wales, Australia. I have an album for all the aerial photos. I can see all my bird photos in tags. And I can see all my favourite photos under favourites. When I open photos on my iPhone, I now have the photos that I downloaded from Lemu on my phone. If you enable internet access, then you and others you want to share with can access the photos and videos from anywhere with an internet connection. A passcode is required for internet access. There are two separate passcodes. One is a full access passcode, which is intended for your own use so you can remotely access all the photos and videos stored in Lamu while you are outside of your home network. The second passcode is for sharing. You can give the share passcode to people whom you want to share your photos with. With a share passcode, access is limited to the photos in the share lists that you send to them. When you enable internet access, the URL and a QR code for full access will be displayed. This is the URL for your own use when you need to access your photos remotely. To view photos from your phone, scan the QR code using the camera on the device or enter the URL in the browser. Do note that the public IP address assigned to you by your internet service provider might change in the future. The address displayed on the Lamu Access and Share window shows the current IP address that is assigned to you by your ISP. You will be prompted to enter the passcode. Enter the full access passcode and submit. You will now see all the photos just like when you are on your local network. In addition to timeline, events, special days, people, places, albums, tags and favourites, you can also view all the shared lists. Now I am going to switch gear and discuss sharing photos with others. To share photos, you can create a list and share the list. You can create and manage share lists similar to albums. To add photos to a share list, from any of the photo list views, select the photos you want to share, then right click on the selection and choose Share Selection. You can then add the photos to an existing share list or create a new one. Another way to create shares is by using albums. If you want to share an album, you can simply right click on the album from the albums view and choose share this album.
To share photos, click the Get URLs to Share with Others button at the bottom. Lamu will display all the share lists. Each list has a URL code and a QR code. You can copy the URL links or QR codes and send them to people you want to share with. They will also need the share access code.